हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे आई डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरेटर्स इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एमएससी एंट्रेंस टेस्ट सो वॉच दिस वीडियो स्टिल द एंड टू क्लियर योर डाउट इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई डिस्कस अबाउट वेव फंक्शन एंड सम प्रॉब्लम अबाउट एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू कैलकुलेशन देयर आई डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी पार्टिकल देयर इज ए वेव एसोसिएटेड विथ इट so we calculate the position and momentum by using wave function in a wave function if we measure the position and momentum then we are use operator so operator we used for measurement purpose so by definition operator is a symbol for a certain mathematical operation which transform one function to another function but situation exist the function remain invariant so an operator is a mathematical operation on the wave function that produced another wave function for example y is a function of x so we are doing here mapping y as a function of x suppose one function sin ax and one operator p cap equal to del del x so if you differentiate sin ax with respect to del del x we get a cos ax where a is the eigen value and cos ax is the eigen function so when we apply it operator we get a new function if we take another example del square del x square as an operator and sin ax as a wave function then if we differentiate it we can get minus a square sin ax where sin ax is a wave function and minus a square eigen value so a function is said to be eigen function corresponding to an operator if its form remain invariant under the operation but the only change is the appearance of constant multiplicative factor this factor is called eigen value suppose a wave function and operator like that when we operate this wave function by this operator we get another function like that so when we apply it operator of any function then shape of the wave function change now suppose another wave function is this one which is operator operated by an operator like that okay then suppose a new function we get like that so some cases the shape remain invariant the shape remain invariant but the amplitude will be increases so there are many type of operator suppose in position we use operator psi equal to x psi where x is the position operator and we can write r cap x cap y cap z cap like that so it is position operator next momentum operator momentum operator means p cap equal to minus i h cut grad and for x axis it is minus i h cut del del x y axis minus i h cut del del y z axis minus i h cut del del z so now energy operator energy operator means e cap equal to i h cut del del t and 
kinetic energy operator T cap is equal to P square by 2m. So P square we know I h cut del del x. So we can easily find out the kinetic energy operator. Now Hamiltonian operator. Hamiltonian operator means we know kinetic energy plus potential energy. Kinetic energy equal to P square by 2m, potential energy equal to Vx. Okay. And also angular momentum operator J, J equal to we can write R cross P. So moment of linear momentum is called angular momentum. So angular momentum operator we can easily find out. Now we calculate the parity operator. So if psi x be the function of x, psi x be the function of x and pi is the operator, then we can write psi of minus x. That is called parity operator. Now inverse operator. If A and B are the two different linear space and P is the linear operator, then we can write B equal to T of A and A is equal to T inverse of B. Then T is the linear operator and T inverse is the inverse operator. Now we discuss unitary operator. So an operator is said to be unitary if its inverse and adjoint are identical. So u and u inverse equal to i. This is called unitary operator. So here we discuss different type of operators. In my next class, I discuss commutator relation and some important problem about it.